talent when he gets the ball in that low. can't keep the ball on one side of the floor against Austin P and be successful. You must switch the ball, switch the sides of the floor with the players and the ball. Stallworth lost his balance going in, but drew the foul. Morehead State, 10 for 16 from the line. Now Lane, you're never going to get a free avenue to the basket. That's why they have to switch sides of the floor. Morehead State, second in the Ohio Valley Conference in free throw shooting. Couple of free throws there. Back to the three-point game. Morehead back in the matchup zone. Reed fronts Furry to the back. And he lays it up that's, and in. That's how you beat the matchup. Get the ball reversed, get a cutter going through the middle of the zone, and then attack it to the middle with the best player on your team. Reed's first points since the 10-minute mark in the first half. You can at the other end. You can and knows how to lower his shoulder. There, I thought Reed could have held in, held his ground, and taken the charge on Buchanan. Buchanan averages 15 a game, struggling in this one. Now has seven. Cross court, Reed to Brown. Goes out of bounds. He getting a little more comfortable attacking this 3-2 zone now, getting the ball reversed and spacing the court well. Martin 63-55 last night in the semifinals. See Drake Reed at the high post, right at the nail, right at the top of the foul line against the matchup zone. Brown looking for him all the way to the bucket with the left hand off the glass. Found the seam. Reed held his man off at the top of the key, right at the elbow there area. They knifed in for the great drive by Brown. Six points for Brown. Fareed gets it. Puts it on the floor. Spin move off the glass. It goes and he'll go to the line. It's Sam Young, and today Sam Young brought him home to victory on senior day. Yeah, Young had 31 points and 10 rebounds. And here now it's a two-point game. 53-51. Austin P trying to go to the NCAA tournament for the second consecutive season. Moorhead State hasn't been there in 25 years. Reed with the left hand. Oh, nice play by Austin P out of the timeout against the zone. Reed went and faked the screen on the wing and slipped it and slipped to the basket. Nice delivery and nice finish with the left. Harper pulls up inside the line with the back iron. Head State stays in the matchup zone. Austin P's done a nice job of adjusting and finding Drake Reed even against the zone in the seams and in the middle of the defense. Morehead State, Austin P playing in the Ohio Valley Conference Tournament Championship for the first time ever. Austin P gives it up, and now Marcel Williams whistle for the foul. One and one. Seat Austin P out of Nashville, Tennessee. I'm Luke Cadellis. Tim Walsh is alongside. A couple of free throws for Stallworth. Back to the two-point game. A little soft pressure by Moorhead State here. Off the free throw just to slow Austin P down and take some time off the shot clock. Moorhead State hasn't won a tournament championship in 25 years. Austin P did it last season. Reed spins, throws it up. And his call for the offensive foul. As if he got run down. Little Shaq flop, is that what you were saying? <laughs> I don't know. I, I thought didn't it was say a, it. I thought it was a bad offensive play by Drake Reed on that possession. Now Fareed with it. Reed lost it. And Fields is called for the reach. In the Ohio Valley Conference, 
What a job he's done at Moorhead State in three seasons. We are tied for the first time since there was 14 minutes left to play in the first half. They've got to get Drake Reed on the move, flashing into the middle. They've got him standing at the fouling. They've got to get him as a moving target where he's harder to find. Right now, Austin T's not getting any movement against his own player or ball. Channels takes the three. Fareed gets high to pull down the rebound. That's where Austin T not only has to move the ball in the but they have to try to drive it into the gaps. Donnie Tendall wants a timeout. Last year, they lost in the first round to Texas. They've gone to the NCAA tournament seven times. Or at least they're trying to get there for a seventh time. Shingles, nice bounce pass. Buchanan had his shot blocked. Bodies all over the floor. Jump ball called. They'll stay at this end of the floor. Players on the East Coast. So many great schools on the East Coast as well as Farid throws it up. Follows it. Uh-uh. Duncan comes out with it. A nice job by Austin P. Making that little bunny very, very difficult for Farid. He had to shoot over a lot of extended arms. And now Dave Luce wants a timeout. Coaches in this conference. Austin P has to get ball movement and play movement. They have to get some penetration inside the three-point line. They're just passing the ball around the perimeter. Reed gets it down low. Channels muscles it up. Uh-uh. Reed pulls it down. The Farid has been a different player here in the second half. And now Moorhead State calls a timeout. On the line, an NCAA tournament bid. Farid wants it, defended by Fields. Five second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Shingles with it, defended by Brown. Shot clock now down to seven. Little screen and roll here at the top of the key. Into the high-low for the lob. that you work on from the first day of practice in October. A little fake back screen off the pick and roll. Nice play, nice pass, kind of a brush screen. They really didn't even screen him, but the help got loose. And then Fareed went up and got it. A good defensive effort. All back after he inbounds it and probably taking it up the court. Moorhead State can't lose Reed as the trailer. Channels lost his balance. Brown up with it. It goes! Buzzer. Caleb Brown ties it. Let's see if he got the shot off before the clock ran out. Absolutely. Looked like a trip here. Then Brown reacts, picks up the loose ball. Sometimes at the end of the game, the best offense is by accident.